Steve Chagolin from Variety here. The film Begin Again features songs co-written by Greg Alexander, the Grammy-winning singer, songwriter, producer. You might remember Greg as the frontman for the late 90s band The New Radicals and the mastermind behind that band's infectious hit, You Get What You Give. Recently, Greg joined us in the Variety newsroom for his first video interview in 15 years. Welcome, Greg. Thanks very much. Thanks. The name of the movie was originally kind of Song Save Your Life, yeah. and uh, that also kind of seems to address some of the themes in the movie. I was drinking my stuff, standing on a subway platform, ready to kill myself, and then I heard your song. Want to get a beer? Well, it put a lot of pressure when the film had that title, because all of a sudden there was this sense that like you had to write something that was going to be able to pull somebody out of a dark place. Mm. But I like pressure. It ended up ultimately being something that drove us to really push ourselves creatively. Mark's character, I think, is trying to get back to whatever he felt was authentic and what drove him in the first place. So mm. that kind of connected with me because I've felt uh, taking a step back from the music business a bit myself. Uh, for various reasons along those lines. I know you uh, got a call from the director, John Carney, and that followed that up with a script that he sent you. One of the things I like about John is you definitely have a sense of uh, freedom and autonomy to kind of follow your muse. So I read it, loved it, and then just kind of uh, started uh, hit, hitting the ground running with the acoustic mm. guitar and waking up at four in the morning and like calling your voicemail. I don't have an iPhone, so I was old school, like leaving yeah. myself voice messages yeah. and stuff. I'm probably the only person on the, on the planet that still does that. Greg, get your shit together. Now, you would send him uh, music that was written out, and he would be able to play it and, and maybe read the music and sing it? I can't write music. I can barely oh, write okay. uh, English, the English All language. Right. But I um, did send, I would make demos. Probably the most high-tech part of the process was the MP3s that went over to yeah. Ireland. So where are we going, Mr. Aynar, man? We're going to my partner to play me music. You got your demo? No. When Kira Knightley was going to sing a song, did you have her character in mind? when you wrote that music? Well, you know, the strange thing is I, I have a hard time writing for a singer, per se. Mm -hmm. I just have to try to write the best song I can. And then the question became, well, what is her range going to be like? Will yeah. she want to go up high and come down low? Because Lost Stars goes all over the place. Yeah. That song is kind of like a roller coaster ride. Tell us the reason youth is wasted on the young. It's hunting season. Islam is on the run. It's a tough song for a yeah, singer, yeah. Absolutely, and um, so the songs were more written maybe for the characters in mind as opposed to maybe specific singers, but then we got incredibly lucky because, uh, you know, Adam Levine is one of the best singers, you know, on the planet. And Kira is actually a great singer too, and the thing that was really cool about her is that she doesn't really think of herself as a singer, and she doesn't bring a lot of the ego or baggage that some singers bring, you know, so she yeah. was just there like, just like, tell me what to do, and I was like, well, gosh, I don't know what to do myself half the time, but, uh, you know, just give it a crack, you know? Now, I must admit, I'm not really an Adam Levine fan, but uh, when I saw him sing Lost Stars, I was singing a new tune. That was uh, really a testament to what cold weather will do when you've got people from Southern California that are not used to it. I was in London. One of my best friends and frequent collaborators came out with uh, her husband, and a couple of us were just kind of jamming out and it started snowing in London and they were like, this is just like, I was like, try it, it's different. But we just decided to fly the coop and we went to the Costa del Sol and we ended up really kind of, for a couple of days, we thought we were losing the plot because we ended up just, you know, going to the beach and taking in all the fresh air and eating sardines. And finally, at some point, we were like, we actually have to get something done. So we uh, started writing the song and it just uh, happened like that. It, 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 it came out in about, you know, literally probably about 25 minutes. That's how the good ones happen, is they have, before you know it, they, uh, they they came and they left, and then you're like, where? It's like a ghost that goes running through the room, you know? But are we all 